Okay, in this video we're going to look at an introduction to trigonometry. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to label the sides of a right angle triangle. Okay, so if we've got a right angle triangle and we're considering this angle here, the bottom right hand corner, the largest side is always the hypotenuse. It's the one opposite the right angle. Okay, so in both of these triangles, the side opposite the right angle is called the hypotenuse. Okay, now if the angle's here in the bottom right hand corner, the opposite side is called the opposite. So the one opposite the angle is called the opposite, and the one left is called the adjacent. It's called adjacent because it would be beside the angle. Here we've got the angle at the top, so the one opposite the angle is called the opposite, and the one to the side of the angle, the one left over, is called the adjacent. So the main thing is the hypotenuse is the longer side, it's the one opposite the right angle. The opposite is the side opposite the angle that you're considering, or you're looking at, and the adjacent is the one left. Okay, these are the trigonometric ratios here. We will have done an activity in a lesson to see where these have come from, uh, but this is a revision lesson, so I'm just going to go through it now. Tan vita is opposite divided by adjacent, sin vita is opposite divided by hypotenuse, and cos vita is the adjacent divided by hypotenuse. So if you've got a triangle and you divide the opposite by the adjacent, you will get tan vita. If you do the opposite divided by the hypotenuse, you will get sin vita. And if you do the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse, you will get cos vita. Now, a lot of you will have heard different mnemonics to learn your trigonometric ratios, such as sock, car, tour, those type of things. I personally like this. Two old angels skipped over heaven carrying a harp. And whenever we look at trigonometry in these videos, in the lessons, I'll be talking about these triangles, okay? So, if you wanted to work out the tan vita, you would do cover up the tan, and you would do opposite divided by adjacent, a bit like the speed distance times triangles. If you wanted to work out sine, you would do opposite divided by hypotenuse. And if you wanted to work out the cos of vita, you would do adjacent divided by hypotenuse. So there are the different triangles and we'll be using those throughout the lessons whenever we're looking at how to solve different uh, questions, maybe the missing sides and the missing angles. Okay, So that's a brief introduction to the concepts involved in the trigon uh, trigonometry uh, videos and we're now going to have a look at two videos now, one on how to find the missing sides and one on how to find the missing angles. Okay, now finally, in these vid in these uh, lessons on trigonometry, you're going to need your scientific calculator. You should make sure you've got a D at the top of your Casio calculator here, okay, or on top of your calculator. I've put an R there on purpose. That's in radiance mode, and that's probably because someone that's been doing A-level maths has been using your calculator, okay? So, to get rid of the R and put a D there, press Shift, and you'll notice the Shift symbol. Press then the Setup button, and you want degrees, so then press number 3. As you'll notice, it has now changed the D at the top of your calculator, which means you're in degrees mode, and that means you can do these questions correctly. If you had an R at the top of your calculator for GCSE maths, you're probably going to get the wrong answers.